Bri, can you grab me some ice, please? Did you know that the process in cooling down your skin is simply a transfer of heat energy from your skin to the ice? Just like this ice that will eventually melt and return to its original phase which is liquid, this is due to the heat transferred from the environment to the ice. Following the zeroth law of thermodynamics, objects with the same temperature are considered to be in thermal equilibrium. Thus, the ice on the right which turned liquid has now an equal temperature with the water on the left. The zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if system A and B are initially at thermal equilibrium, and B is found to be in thermal equilibrium with C, then A and C are also in thermal equilibrium. There are three methods of heat transfer. Conduction, which is the transfer of heat between bodies in contact. Conviction, which is the transfer of heat through the motion of a mass from one place to another. And radiation, which is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic radiation. Different materials have different specific heat capacities. The specific heat capacity is the amount of heat per unit mass to increase the temperature by 1 degree. Let's consider water at room temperature is heated to boil using a whistling kettle. The kettle contains 500 grams of water and a specific heat capacity of 4186 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. How much energy will be needed to boil the water? To determine the energy needed to boil the water, we compute for the heat transferred by the fire to the water using the formula Q, which is the amount of energy, is equal to M, the mass of my substance, times C, the specific heat capacity of my substance, times delta T, which is the change in temperature. By solving the given values, we can obtain 159,068 joules or 1.6 times 10 raised to the fifth power joules, which is needed to boil the water. I get it now. The zeroth law of thermodynamics gives emphasis on thermal equilibrium between objects. The system allows heat transfer between objects without losing energy along the process. This is in consonance with the law of conservation of energy, which states that no energy can neither be created nor destroyed. This means that a system always has the same amount of energy unless it's added from the outside.